to the uh, White House archives. It was delivered to the White House. Of those papers. Excuse me, sir. The book was delivered to the White House archives. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Which has uh, custody of those papers shortly after the um, return to Washington. Abe, I don't uh -huh. think the correct word is White House archives. Because it has a different set of them. I, I, I checked that word, would you, with the Juanita and, and uh, the... Dorothy, Dorothy. White House archives, or is that a correct term, or what would you call it? Let him write a statement and make notes of what you want to add to it. Well, you could say, if you want to be very cautious about it, you could say to the custodian, to the White House custodian of the president's papers, which is part of the archive. Uh, I'd say the White House papers. custodian of the presidential paper, the presidential papers. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, presidential uh, uh, papers and documents. Right. Now, that's the first statement I'd make. Then second, if you're asked, uh, has any decision been made as to uh, what will be done with this? Then uh, you say no. Uh, no decisions been made about this or specifically about other papers of the president. I thought we'd made it to put them in the library in Austin. Well, you're going to have a lot that won't go there. That's yeah. a, there's a sorting job. Yeah, okay. All right, go ahead. But anyway, it, uh, I just don't want people to get confused. Actually, there's nothing to be worried about because the Johnson Library is going to be part of the archives of the United States under the National Archive. It's just like the Eisenhower Library and the Truman Library. No, There's nothing to worry about. It's just a question of public confusion. Now, uh, next, uh, you asked, uh, uh, can you describe uh, this book or this Bible? And I'd say that actually, then I'd have uh, Christensen say that actually, although it wasn't, uh, didn't seem to have been known at the time, it uh, was not a Bible, but it was a I say, if Christensen is, he will then be asked to s describe this Bible, you see? Yes, sir. And he'll have to say that it turns out that it was not, strictly speaking, a Bible, but it was a missile, M-I-S-S-A-L, or prayer book, uh, which belonged to uh, uh, President Kennedy. Is it, a, is it a new prayer book, Judge? Sir? Is it a new prayer book? Does it have a date in it? Well, uh, it, uh, it's published by the Catholic Book Publishing Company in New York, and uh, it, uh, it has the imprimatur, the official acceptance seal of Francis Cardinal Spellman, Archbishop of New York. Oh, here's a copyright. Cop latest copyright is 1960. All right. I think we ought to say it. Huh? I, I think we ought to say it's 1960. Yeah, and it says the imprimatur of uh, Cardinal Spellman. It says copyright 1960, 1957, 1953. Yeah, I, I, think, it's copyright is I think it's good to say that, yeah, date because otherwise it might appear as the Holy Family Bible. Yeah, that's what the story indicated. That's a good idea, yeah. It's very new, and it obviously hasn't been read. I uh, think you might insert the sentence and, ha and has no, uh, um... Uh, no signature, no signature or, the or, or, uh, uh... There's nothing no on the book. Uh, no handwriting, no signature or handwriting in it. Or anything whatsoever. Mr. Christensen, actually, there's nothing that would identify this as the property of Kennedy or anybody else except the leather cover. What? The leather co cover has embossed on it. On the inside, mind you, on the inside, it has embossed JFK. On the outside, there is a cross on the front cover, 
and a an embossed cup, you know, a retro cup on the back cover, and that's all. Except for that, there's absolutely nothing here that would identify this as belonging to President Kennedy or anybody else. And it's a slip cover, which is not part of the book itself. Do I make that clear? A slip cover. Yes, you do. It, it, it's a slip cover. <coughs> kind of a book cover. Like a book jacket. It's a, it's a leather slip cover. It's a leather slip cover. It's a box that the book fits into. In, in effect, a cover. The book itself uh, just slips into this and there's no identification whatever. Nice. Printed, written, uh, notes or anything else. It's unmarked, totally and completely. The box or, or the... Okay. But the, but the inscription or the embossed uh, JFK is on the actual leather cover of the book on the no, outside. Sir. It's not no, sir. Yeah, you've seen us uh, you show him my uh, book in there. With, it's got a cover on it. It's a slip cover, you know, a jacket. Uh, and not the, what is what it's a hardcore jacket that it just fits into like a, <coughs> a box with three sides. Doesn't have a well, lid. Get him to show him one of those uh, Hope for America's leather bound ones. Yeah, yeah, I've got one here now. Okay, but that's now on the cover, on the inside of the cover, there's a JFK. On the book itself, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing on the book. And in the book itself, there's a place there for what? For name and there's a place here that says uh, printed on the uh, uh, second sheet here that says this missile belongs to. Then there are dotted lines and the date. There's nothing written in there, printed or otherwise. Absolutely nothing. So I would assume what happened was that when somebody handed this, we took the oath on it. Uh, from what Bird said, uh, she did not see the, the JFK on the inside. Is that possible? It's not only possible, it's entirely probable. I when you not take take it this out book the in your hand, Mr. President, you take this book in your hand, what you, all you see is a black leather cover and a cross. Uh, it's only if, when you look at the inside of the leather uh, slip uh, container that you see JFK. That's the only place where there's any personal identification at all, and that is embossed in the leather. Uh, it slip appears container. from the label here that I just read to you, you know, the leather tool cover, which is not part of the book. It's a label that's stuck on here. What happened is that this Sunday, that this missile, this Sunday missile, the book, was put in a cover which uh, Cassidy of uh, Medford, Massachusetts, uh, designed and hand-tooled in this particular way with JFK on it and then presented to President Kennedy. That's uh, pretty clear. But you, if you took the oath on this thing, you, it'd just be amazing if you had any idea what was in it. You'd have to read the darn thing. Well, I'd make two points clear, that the initials were on the inside of this box-like cover, mm -hmm. uh, and that the date of the um, uh, missile is um, the last copy, the, the copyright was 1960. That's right. And that they're in the sheet where the ownership, the name is printed as normal in Bibles, there is nothing. And that there are no marks, uh, pencil, pen, or, uh, or any identification or any markings on this whatsoever. Uh, no any bookmarks or description. So I guess our, our theory is that we thought it was just a part of the Air Force uh, book compliments. Air Force One, uh, yeah. Book. They have books in there, and they have them in there. And uh, they, they have them in there. And it was taken out of its cover, obviously, before you took your oath. The cover wasn't on it. The slip jacket wasn't on it. Before I wouldn't may or may that. not have been. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. No, I wouldn't. In all probability, what happened here, and I've done it many times, and I've administered all this. You just take a Bible, that, something that looks like a Bible that somebody hands you, and and the person uh, puts his hand on it. Now, as I say, it's not part of any legal requirement, and it doesn't matter uh, to the judge administering the oath. It could be a couple.
I'll be a playboy in the legal effect, it'd be exactly the same. I'm not suggesting that we start administering those on Playboy, but that, that's the uh, substance of it. And it just turned out that whoever picked it up and handed it to Judge Hughes, and she doesn't know who it was, One thing, up this particular thing. The same thing bothers me that bothers Mrs. Johnson, that uh, if it does have his initials on it anywhere, uh, it appears to be his personal property. I mean, just the general public uh, may not draw the distinction between something that's kept for the archives and something that's family property. Well, Miss, Miss Johnson, did you, uh, did you uh, examine this? <coughs> did you know that uh, it was uh, had J.M.? No, uh-uh. I well, certainly didn't. Well, then say that. She, that thought it was, she thought it was a government issue. She did not know that it had an initial or anything on that's it. That's right. It's okay. perfectly possible. When you came back, what you probably did was to take out of your bag uh, uh, various things and turn them over to somebody and turn them over to the uh, archivist. Turn this over well, to I, the archivist. You did. You took the old out and took this Bible. I know that's two things they have. The oath is stuck in the side of this thing as I have it in my hand. Yeah. Signed by Nick Ketz. I mean, it has written on it from Mr. Ketzenbeck. Yeah. But I don't know whether that it was brought back that way. Yes, I think if Marie typed it, somebody did. Yes. As he dictated it. And I think they gave it to Ms. Johnson. No, I mean, I don't know whether you brought it, whether uh, you put it in uh, the volume or... I don't think it makes a difference. What I, what I would say is that she brought back various items, such as the oath and the book and others, and turned them over to the archivist. And, uh, she didn't know the Ted initials on it. Mm -hmm. Let's get this statement now. We've discussed it a lot. Let's get, uh, does, can he make any statement in response to a question, or does he have to wait till each one of these questions appear in your judgment? Well, if, uh, you know, if you can kiss the thing off by saying that uh, this, uh, uh, the book on which, uh, which was used when the president took his uh, oath uh, was, is, and has been uh, in the White House archives, if you can get rid of that as the answer to the story while the story is hot, I'd handle it that way and cut it. Uh, then later on, people are going to ask the other questions, but I think uh, that this will get the news play in, that it's the best way to handle the news play. All right. Now, have you got that, Marie, clear, and George, are you clear on what that is? Yes, sir. I'm, I think we're both clear on that. Dave, yeah. you don't think for one minute that I ought to just uh, write a letter to Mrs. Kennedy and say that this question was raised, we examined the book, and we discovered the uh, small initials inside the cover, and uh, we are returning it to you? No, my own feeling about it is that uh, the most we could, uh, we ought to do if somebody, if we know any way to do it, is that somebody perhaps, uh, I don't know whether Saul Lenowitz could do this, uh, somebody ought to make sure that uh, uh, Mrs. Kennedy, I ought to ask Mrs. Kennedy, and maybe Mrs. Kennedy would say, well, I want this to be in the government uh, records. It's not a Kennedy family Bible. I don't think she'd be, I don't think she'd say that. Oh, but she would One thing, she never answers questions. Uh-huh. And second thing is, uh, this is a well laid out, deliberate thing, Abe. Yeah. I, what it, the most serious aspect of it is to me that there's somebody working for us, you see, that uh, had some knowledge of this because uh, they, they never, nobody knew they had any family Bible. Yeah. It's very much, it's very much like last week uh, when this professor walked out at Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. The nurse walked out with him. Yeah. There's just three or four people knew that. I didn't know it until after it's all over with. But the press is promptly informed of it. Yeah. And I think that uh, somebody informed Manchester of all this stuff. Uh, John says that Manchester kept just giving him hell and finally saw him. John's very sorry that he saw him. I saw him, dear. What? 
I saw him. You saw a man trips mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> For how long? I, I didn't know about that. For how long? Um, well, I don't know. A few minutes. I, I don't remember exactly. Much recited it in the way that we've all recited it to each other. Mm -hmm. Well, the net of this is to me, Judge, that, the, that, it, that somebody's trying to make it appear that the Johnson family has in its possession a Kennedy Bible. It's just yeah. missing. It's never been turned back well, to I, the family. I wouldn't, have any, I wouldn't have any hesitation, actually, to. Uh, uh, Bill is sick, got there somewhere. At his house. Can anybody want to examine this? Can anybody find some way to do it?